Yeah, quick thought just on the NBL Canada. What did you think of that league, like in terms of Canadian ball players being able to get an opportunity to play with some some of the guys that played in the U.S. played some D one schools. Uh, yeah, they get that opportunity. I think it's you know what at first I never I thought it was like a like Canadian league in Canada. Like what, what's kind of what kind of league is this? But right. really, you know, when I got the opportunity and I played, I was like, man, this league is actually really good. We got the mm -hmm. legit guys like Ronnie Goofer, Eddie Robinson. Those yeah. guys were kind of legit yeah. NBA players, right. like, you yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, playing against th those guys in the league, Morgan Green, I was playing for the uh, LA Defenders, like. A lot of those guys are just like, man, this league has a lot of credibility. So I was mm -hmm. like, this league is a serious league. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, talking about, you know, what you've been do, able to do on the court. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, last year you were an all-star in the yeah. NBL of Canada. This year again, congratulations, yeah. all-star again. Yeah. First two years. Yeah. So, you know, showing improvement right there. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your uh, biggest asset on the court and off the court? Like as far as, you know, in the locker room and, you know, what players see you do and, you know, maybe how they take your game mm -hmm. and either apply it to theirs or mm -hmm. just working hard and seeing you know what you're doing i think that's a that's a good thing like uh, i think they they really see me i'm really focused i don't you know i, I like i don't really like going out as much really i'm not really a party guy like, i go out once in a while sure, like, sure when it comes to basketball and my, my job i don't really go out so i guess a lot of guys see that and like man this guy's really serious so kind of did take me serious so and plus i work hard in practice you know i don't really complain a lot you know i go to my job and i work hard for two hours and I just go home and, I, and after that I work out for like about an hour and a half on my own so they see how serious I am and they take me serious they don't want to right. joke around and stuff like that so when I say something they really take it serious so mm -hmm. sure. I guess they see that yeah all right now yeah. uh, we did touch on the fact that you are, are an all-star for yeah. the second straight year mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean to you to have that honor and to be represented and be recognized by the league in that way? Uh, it means uh, it means a lot, actually. Like, you know, you gotta take me serious, you know. Right. Not because I'm Canadian. Like, you know, some people think that Canadian people, Canadian ballers, are like, you know, like, and they're not that good. But right. look, at, look at it now, right? Exactly. On the come yeah. up, yeah. Yeah. Canada come basketball up. on the yeah. rise, exactly. In a major way, exactly. And mm -hmm. now, like now, like me being like the second team, second time being an All Star and being in the All Star game, it's like. Don't take no joke, like, you know, it's not just me. Also, there's other guys too. So it kind of shows a lot of American guys, like, hey, like this guy is serious, you know, he's playing with us and he's doing well against us. Man, like, we can't sleep on Canada. Right. We cannot sleep on Canada. There's some balls out here. And even guys on our team didn't even know they had, they had good balls in Canada. So, yeah. You know, so, you know. And surprise them too. Surprise them too. And, you know what I mean? And just, you know, so once they see me doing that, they also think, man, there must be other ballers too. So it gives a lot of the other Canadians a good opportunity too, so. Mm -hmm. right. so, as we were talking about earlier, there's so many things that you've done in your basketball career to this point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, AUS single season scoring record. Uh, you led the league in CIS scoring in yeah. 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, you've traveled all around the world with the uh, N1 basketball circuit and, uh, you know, grew up on the West Coast and now you're here on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Is there anything for you to this point that really stands out, whether it's an accolade or maybe uh, a particular game or a uh, team you've played against that, you know, uh, may, anything really in your career that really stands uh, out I think to you playing as a highlight? Against, yeah, it was really highlight. I think uh, playing against, uh, when, when, when I was on the national team for Trinidad, yeah. uh, we played against uh, Puerto Rico. We lost to Belize by like nine and we played against Puerto Rico the second game and we beat them in overtime. And they had four NBA players on the team, right. Carl Cerro, JJ Barrera, uh, Balkman, set, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Balkman, Ronaldo Balkman right. and a guy named Ramos or something. Oh tall, yeah, PJ guy. Ramos. He played yeah. in the NBA, didn't he? he yes, he did for he did. a little bit. For, a little I believe bit. for Washington Wizards. Wizards yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. We saw him here in Halifax. Oh, he did. He came way in? back way for back, the uh, right? the junior, the junior world. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So we played against those guys. Beat them in overtime. So and it was yeah. crazy because yeah. nobody expected us to beat them. But right. we we yeah. had a solid team. But really, what happened was it was a like money problem, the government, stuff like that. So guys mm -hmm. didn't want to play hard to, to that after that game and stuff like that. But man, we had a really good team. But then we lost to Mexico, and then we lost. And we had one more game against Cuba. We, if we would have beat Cuba, yeah. it's funny. If we would have beat Cuba, we would have been in the uh, the FIBA Americas tournament, America's tournament, and we would have played against Canada. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, but goodness. we didn't get in. We lost by like I think by. 13 or something like 14. Right. Some of them we lost though. But uh, that was a, one of the highlights. And also, wow. um, Carmelo Anthony had fun with him, playing against him and stuff like that and doing the EA Sports stuff. Tell us a little yeah. bit more about yeah. that. Oh, that was fun. Uh, I actually was in uh, the EA Sports uh, uh, NBA Street Series, okay. Volume 2, 
volume three in home court. Okay. And uh, with Carmelo Anthony, and uh, it was fun just playing against him one on one, just you know, just joking around. It was just fun. Oh yeah, he's a really cool guy. So when I'm playing video games, those moves are actually yours. Yeah, the home court. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now can we be Joey Haywood in those games? (laughs) Uh, No, no, no. no, no. But we know it's you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll just ball with it and say, "Were you in the game?" Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. So the King Handles is in 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 the game. No, no, no. Where did that come from? The King Handles. What did that, who oh, I just my, it was my friend. I was in I just one recreation complex, and I was crossing this guy up, and just boom, and he made him fall or something. Like, oh, that's King Handle. So after that, it just kind of stuck with it. I mean, that's yeah, a classic. I even came up with it though. That's you know, a right? classic yeah, yeah. name. Oh, it's cool. And, yeah. and, and when it comes to nicknames, yeah. they always have to let someone else give exactly. you the nickname. You can't be one of those self bestowed <laughs> yeah, nicknames. Exactly. Someone else has to give it to oh, you exactly. to be legit. So, exactly. Uh, we love that oh, for yeah, sure. Man. Yeah. yeah. Um, about the future, as far as your basketball is concerned. What are your uh, What are some of your aspirations and uh, some of your goals? Whether they're short term yeah. and uh, some long term ones. Oh, as well. definitely. You know, everybody, every basketball player wants to be in the NBA. Sure. And it's tough, right? But mm-hmm. that's my goal, and it's always going to be my goal until I, you know, stop playing ball. And if I don't make it, hey, at least I try. Right. You know, but I really want to go overseas and play in Europe. I want to go play overseas. I want to get that experience and just try to play the highest league as I can, I know I can play. Sure. Right. Yeah. And, and and make as much money from for me and my family, support my family. Definitely. And that's about it and I have a good life. And also I started this uh, me and my friend in Vancouver started this advanced basic uh, training. So we're okay. gonna go with the train kids one on one training. We just started Beautiful. last year. So sure. we're gonna work with some uh, sort of camps and stuff like that this summer just going and train kids Beautiful. for a couple hours and just show them just you know give back, right? Give yeah. back and uh, and uh, and just you know just that's what I wanna do. I just wanna train and, kids out there. On top of that, you're going to see other players reap those benefits just by watching you yeah. and how successful that you've been. Yeah. Just putting that hard work and time in, yeah. it's got to rub off. Oh, it's got, you yeah, know? it has to, it has to rub off. And that's why I, I want to get back because, you know, you know, there's a lot of people who are always going to hate on you, who's going to tell you this and that, you can't do this. It is, that's how it is. This is nature. Right. That's just how it is. But you just got to keep on, keep on focusing on your goal. Sometimes you're going to slip, but you got to get back up. That's you right. got to get back up. That's the name of the game. You got to get back up. Keep trying hard. No matter who it is, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you can make it in life. You know, but at the same time, you gotta be real with yourself too. Like, it's true. you know, if I if if you don't think you're that good, you know, you're not that good. You just gotta be real with yourself too. Right. At the same time, yeah. but also you gotta work hard. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I think that's probably half the battle because yeah. you have to almost have to have that mentality exactly. going into it. Because if you don't think you can do something, you're almost like it's almost like you know, uh, self fulfilling proce- prophecy, as they say. Like exactly. You're kind of defeating yourself before you even got started. So exactly. You're definitely coming into it with a great NBA, mindset. Yeah. yeah. NBA all the time. You see guys with talent, yeah. but they don't work hard exactly. and, and they don't excel in the league. Right? Exactly, so, don't yeah. excel exactly, yeah. exactly. Come in and they plateau. They kind of think yeah. that they're good and exactly. then they continue to work to get yeah. to where they really can yeah. be. And that's know? why a lot of guys are playing in a lot of leagues overseas and stuff like that, maybe because of this, maybe because they didn't work hard enough, right? right? right. But it could be either way. because they didn't have the talent. Yeah, yeah, they just didn't work hard enough. Or they could they worked hard and all of a sudden, I know they got cut, but you know, it's just like, it's just, just different, man. You know, it's the nature of the beast. Sometimes, you know, you could work your butt off and try to make it, and you have a lot of talent, a lot of game, but you just don't make it, man. Right. Just, this is how it is, man. And so it's about, I think if you're at the right place at the right time, you know, and it happens for you, it happens for you, right? Mm-hmm. It's all about kind of luck, too. So it's like kind of like three things, I think. Working hard, the luck, and you got to be real with yourself. That's good. Yeah. Well, we definitely appreciate Joey's time today, and uh, we wish you all the best in future endeavors, basketball-related yeah. and otherwise. Oh, thank you. Appreciate right. that. Thanks thank for you. having me. Thank, thank you for having me. Appreciate that. Thanks, man. No problem.